In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a sticky section inside of a column, also known as an intersection. If you pay special attention to the Saki menu here, we see it is sticky and it follows us down. It is a section that's part of an intersection. There is something that happens with templates that makes this not work properly. So you want to watch this video in its entirety because you might encounter this issue in templates you're importing and it's easily fixed. Either way, this is what we're building. I'm going to show you how it works in this video. And this video is part of the Elementor Skills playlist on this channel. It's linked to in the description down below. If you want to up your Elementor Skills, make sure you check out that playlist. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them down below as well. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. To get started, we have to find the place where we want our sticky section to be. I'm going to put ours in this very top section here. And you might already have a template that has sections like this, like an intersection. We are not doing the full width section. I have a different tutorial for that on this channel and in this playlist, in fact. This is going to be a section inside of a column that's sticky and follows you down. So if I click on the six dots in this section right here and go to advanced and the motion effects and then change sticky to top, we see that works out great, but it keeps on going past the end of the column. That's not what we want. And there is no toggle on here that says stay in column for some reason. I found this sometimes with templates that create these intersections for you, it doesn't have the same options as if you create this intersection yourself. I'm gonna show you right now. Let's click on the grid here to get our intersection, drag it right in here. Let's delete the second column and let's just move everything up. And then this guy. Now we have everything in our new section up here. If we click on the six dots and go to advanced and then motion effects, sticky to top. We see we have a stay in column option now. If I go back to the old one, just to show you again, click on the six dots, we're on advanced, go to motion effects. There is no stay in column option, but when I add the intersection manually, all of a sudden it appears. So I don't know why that is, but just be aware that that's something that can happen. So let's go to the six dots on our new intersection, motion effects, sticky, top, stay in column, turn that on. Now when I scroll down, it stays in that column, which is just what we want. Maybe a little offset at the top so it's not so squished to the top of the browser. Let's make that 30. Now when I scroll, got some nice space there, and it stops at the bottom exactly how we want. And here's another example. Click on this intersection that came with the template, go to advanced, go to motion effects, turn on sticky, that works fine, but there's no stay in column option. So keep that in mind when you're making intersections sticky inside of columns. And then just to bring this full circle, if you look at an overall section that is the full width that's not inside of a column, and you go to advanced motion effects, turn sticky on, put it to the top, we see there's also no stay in column option because it's not in a column. So something when you import templates makes intersections behave like sections in regards to stickiness. I don't know why that is, but it is how it is. If that happens to you, you just have to create a new intersection and then you can set to stay in column. This Elementor video is part of my Elementor skills playlist where we cover lots of the basics in Elementor to help you get up and running with Elementor as fast as possible. If you want to check out that playlist, it's a link to in the description down below and probably in a card up above somewhere during this video. So check out that playlist if you want to level up your Elementor skills. And if you don't have Elementor Pro yet, click the link in the description down below to get yourself a copy. It is an affiliate link, so if you buy through that link, I do get a commission. And it does not make it more expensive for you. It's just that Elementor shares that referral income with me. And that's what helps me keep making these videos for free and putting them up on YouTube so you can get better at WordPress and Elementor. So if you buy through that link down below, I really appreciate it. And next up, check out the Elementor Skills playlist right here, which I referenced throughout this video. If you watch those videos, your Elementor skills will be increased. So if you want to get better, watch that playlist. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.